disrupt America that I thought was your thing to happen. <laughs> Hello, one and all. Welcome to this edition of Kit's Corner. It's been a fantastic day so far. I wish I could say that the future is hopeful, but it's very, very bleak as we're seeing new reports of how technology being the hands and how innovation being the hands of nefarious people um, is being played out. I mean, I thought we were going to be in a Jetsons kind of utopia of uh, flying cars and everyone's going to love each other and we're going to make life easier for people. But it turns out when it's in the hands of narcissistic sociopaths, the commanders and chiefs, the, um, you know, international criminal cabal of uh, the World Economic Forum to, you know, the military industrial complex to uh, nefarious leaders and the neoliberal order. It is downright disturbing what's yet to come. And I wish I could say there's hope for the future, but holy smokes, when you see articles like this, for example, you have to step back and uh, be in shock and awe of where things are going. So this is apparently what's happening in China. And they're saying they're developing brain-disturbing weapons, analysts warn, and experts cast doubts. Now, it could be, I, I don't know how exactly accurate this is. It could be another case of the Vina syndrome where they were, you know, blaming Cuba for using hydro, hydrogenic uh, weaponry to manipulate people's brains. It could be one of those stories that turned out to be false. But it could be an actual uh, event. This could be actually happening. So we don't know what's going on with this. Um and it's just, it, it is still disturbing either way. It's still disturbing either way. I mean, it sounds like they're teaming up with Lex Luthor and Dr. Octopus. It, 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 it doesn't sound pretty either way. Either way, like the technology that we have to do something like this, to even think about doing something like this is deeply disturbing. But it's not just China that's doing this. It's not just China that should be getting the finger pointed at manipulating uh, our own individual thoughts and being intrusive to our own private individual lives because uh, it's happening all over the place. This is from the BBC and they say, warning, firms may be using brain data to watch workers. This is happening all over the world. So while you're concerned about the possibility of China using brain weaponry, <laughs> your brains have already been weaponized. Like, surprise! <coughs> I guess China was late to the party on this case because apparently this has been going on for, for a while now that multinational corporations have been trying to implement this technology to monitor its workers and monitor their productivity using brainwaves. Does that sound pleasant to you? Does that sound like a healthy workspace? I don't I don't feel more productive when someone's scanning my thoughts. That sounds intrusive. That sounds criminal. That sounds like something in 1984 extremism. And it's happening. It's happening, folks. And it's happening more and more often because like I said, Places like the World Economic Forum are the breeding grounds to promote this uh, insanity. And they're coming up with videos here, as I'm about to show you, of this is from their last meeting in, in this is from this year, 2023, the last meeting in Davos, which you know all about these meetings are uh, not for humanity, not for working class people. You and I are not part of this. Uh, it's for investments and stockholders to figure out how to manipulate the general public so they can capitalize off our death and disparity. That's what the World Economic Forum is. That's what these meetings are all about. The G20 summit. Anytime these officials gather together, it's never on the basis of true humanity. Never on the case. And here's where they're going to discuss how in the future... Workers are going to get even more exploited by reading their thoughts. 
and they're going to try to promote this to a room full of stockholders that this is a great opportunity. It is downright disturbing. Take a look. First off, a video. Uh, it's going to make you see the future and understand a wonderful future where we can use brainwaves to fight crime, be more productive, and find love. Let's roll. Sensing your joy, your... I love how the guy starts off with, you know, please stick around for this wonderful presentation about the future. It's going to be so wonderful. Uh, we're going to monitor your brain waves, but it's going to help fight crime. It's going to help you find love. It's going to make you more productive. Who doesn't want anything like that? Like trying to sell it as some sort of great advantage to society as he just blurted out. It's reading your thoughts. Your thoughts are going to be exploited by the top 1%. Like, th that should be the biggest red flag right there. That should disturb you. Anyway, here's, here's the actual video that they're showing you. Playlist shifts to your favorite song. Sending chills up your spine as the music begins to play. You glance at the program running in the background on your computer screen and notice a now familiar sight that appears whenever you're overloaded with pleasure, your theta brainwave activity decreasing in the temporal regions of your brain. You mentally move the cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can see your stress levels rising as the deadline to finish your memo approached, causing a peak in your beta brainwave activity right before an alert popped up telling you to take a brain break. Your mind starts to wander to the new oh colleague on your team, whom you know you shouldn't be daydreaming about, given the policy against intra-office romance. But you can't help fantasizing just a little. But then you start to worry. This is the breakthrough for humanity and society in the future, is that my future employers are going to know how horny I am. That's the takeaway of this. That's the breakthrough. That's the joyous occasion of life in the future is that your employer is going to know when you're stressed and going to know when you're freaking horny. Oh, dear God. And you thought Starbucks and their tactics to shut down union organizing was already uh, atrocious enough. This is what's going to happen in the future before you even talk to other people about, you know, better rights and working conditions and better wages before you even get the chance to. If you even think about it, your employer is going to know about it and they're going to try to dismantle it as much as possible. Like, this is not good. This is not good. They cannot sell this any, and they cannot sell this in a nice way. This is what it is. It is a deep, darkening, disturbing Orwellian path that we're in right now. And they're trying to make it sound pleasant. Oh, well, it's going to help you take a brain break because you seem stressed. Why are we not talking about, you know, people that are stressed in workplaces and make it easier for the workplace? Why are we not discussing that? Oh, no, 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 no. We just got we just got to monitor people's brain waves to make sure they're not overstressed. We're not going to actually change the workplace environment, but we're just going to make it worse for the employee that's being monitored by the employer. <laughs> Holy crap. That your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity and shift your attention back to the present. You breathe oh my aside God. when the email she sends you later that day congratulates you on your brain metrics from the past quarter, which have earned you another performance bonus. <laughs> when you arrive at work the next What are they are they awarding gold stars now? I feel like this is kindergarten class. Oh good job, Tommy. Good job. You really you really thought, you know, good today, so I'm gonna give you a special gold star. These are grown-ass adults. Why? Why? Why Why is this a thing? Why are we even mentioning about the possibility 
of scanning people's brains while they're at work and they're judging their thoughts if they're being complacent and then awarding that. Like, this is psychological torture right here. This is something that no psychologist has probably ever thought of um, unless they're, like, really insanely sociopathic that they want to, like, scan everybody's brains and make sure they're acting the same like it, it, it no oh my god how no 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 and i mean we already have mind control technology i mean you've heard the stories about the mlk M M K ultra and how that was introduced, all the experiments that was done on that. You know, we were, we're the most propagandized society right now. All of our mainstream media, all the commercials, all the consumerism, everything, our politics, the the culture, every, we are so deeply propagandized and being so complacent to the propaganda that this almost seems redundant that we have to scan people's, but, but apparently individualism and your own thoughts, your own opinions, that's this diverse world I thought we're supposed to be in is, it's not going to happen because now everyone is going to act the same, think the same, work the same, and it's going to be monitored by criminals. And they're trying to promote this at a meeting with stockholders saying that this is a great investment for the future. Your your employees are going to be like in a in a mental prison. Holy crap! Next day, a somber cloud has fallen over the office, along with emails, text messages, and GPS location data. The government has subpoenaed employees' brainwave data from the past year. They have compelling evidence that one of your coworkers. <laughs> the government. So brainwaves that went to your employer that now your employer is looking at is also being sent to the government. So now the government can intervene in the workplace, in the company, go in and seize and arrest you if you're not complacent enough. Holy shit. Holy shit. How is this not insanely dangerous? How is this not front page material of every single newscast? How is this not an alarm bell for people to wake up and realize your future is being hijacked? You have no future the way this is going. You are in complacent control by global elite criminals. That all they want to do is manufacture and control and oppress you and dominate over you. Your individuality, your freedom, your, your ability for free expression is gone in this model. They could take your brainwaves from your workplace, from a private company, send that off to the government, and the government can arrest you based on your emails, based on your GPS locations. So not only if you're at work, you got to think correctly, but also you got to go to the right stores. You got to go to the right areas. If you go to some coffee shop that the government doesn't approve of, oh my God, you're such a master class criminal that we need to come to your workplace and arrest you. Holy shit has committed massive wire fraud. Now, they're looking for his co-conspirators. You discover they are looking for synchronized brain activity between your co-worker and the people he has been working with. Oh my God. And you God. know you're innocent of any crime. You've been secretly working with him on a new startup venture. Shaking, you remove your earbuds. What do you think? Is it a future you're ready for? No! No, 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 no. 
God, no. No. How? I, you have to be a immoral psychopath to host an event like this, show them a video like this, and then ask the question, are you excited for the future? You have to be some sick, twisted son of a bitch to do something like this. You have to be so goddamn dehumanizing to do something like that. And that is the World Economic Forum, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Those are the trusted figures that have your hearts and minds and spirit in mind. People like Klaus Schwab and Bill Gates and all the other global investors just creeping down our goddamn spines and throats and in hopes to control each and every one of us from our brain waves to the thing, the food we eat to what we listen to to what we watch on television to god knows what what how many times we poop a day i swear to god this is what's going to happen it's master class aristocrats of the world economic forum are deciding the fate and future of all the peasantry around the world. Does that sound like a future, a promising future that you want to raise your kids into? Does that sound like a future that you want to you want to experience in your later years? By the way, it does not show anything about fighting crime or love or anything you said at the beginning. <laughs> you notice that? You notice that 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 video had nothing to do with what he said at the beginning, that th this brain technology is going to be so wonderful, it's going to help you fight crime and, and, find, and find love. You just demonize someone for finding love. They, they got a little frisky. They thought, you know, someone was cute. Oh, that's bad. Shame on you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I, I... I have no I have no hopes then. I have no hopes for the future after watching that. I have no hopes for the future. I have no hope for the present. I just I guess that's why people just want to live in the moment because everything else is just so goddamn depressing. <laughs> Especially something like that. I am just deeply I, I, I feel like I need to wash this off. I need to have a decontamination shower of this disturbing, disgusting, ugh. Oh, that's just, that's awful. Mm -hmm.